Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to elevate our discussion a little bit and delve into some definitions about terms that are really critical because you have to hear these things in your room. Whether you're mixing, mastering, listening, uh, playing in a live room, vocal room, or anything like that, you have to be able to distinguish the different parts of sound. So today we're going to talk about timber. Now timber is one of the most important fundamental characteristics of music. It's a characteristic of tone that has a harmonic structure. If you ever go into some rooms, you, you, you know those rooms to be really good for mid-range, really good for voice. You can really grab into, uh, a hold of the voice emotionally and relate to it immediately. Well, that's because the harmonic structure, the characteristic of the tone, the timber, has all been recognized by the person who designed the room. So how do we look at timber in terms of what it actually is? Well, it's expressed in number, of course, in frequency. It has an intensity, it has a distribution, and it has a phase relationship to everything that we're doing. I have a saying that I like to, to say when I design rooms that all tones, all timber quality of tones, have to live and die on their own volition, meaning we can't let the room influence them, we can't let the gear influence them, and we have to have those things in mind when we design and build for a room. That's why I'm always telling you about size and volume of a room, because as we shrink size, we shrink our definitions, we, we cross breakpoints where we can't achieve this kind of phase relationship distribution and intensity with our mid-range frequency. So we have to be very careful. Timber is an instantaneous cross-section of tone quality. You know it immediately. It's different than pitch. A lot of uh, singers, you know, uh, have good pitch, some don't, and you can recognize that immediately. But timber is all about a tonal spectrum. It's a distribution, a phase relationship of tone quality. So we're trying to get a handle on that quality in our rooms when we design and treat for them. And we know from past videos that that includes room size and volume, pressure levels, and a lot of other variables. So timber is the characteristic which enables us to judge if pitch and loudness are the same, the differences. So it's a fine-tuning quality that we have to develop our hearing for. And with today's digital formats, we get a lot of resolution. So we really have a lot of timber. But a poorly designed room, a room that's not set up for that usage, will just destroy it. That's why I always tell people when they come to our studio in North Hollywood, bring your favorite recording. Bring the recording that you know everything about. Every pause, every breath every tone, uh, beat, whatever, and you're going to hear more because in our studio there's no room sound. All right? So we know that violin, A and D string, 440 cycles, if the pitch and loudness are equal, we perceive those as different tones. How do we perceive them as different tones? Because of the timber quality. Back to our terms of timber, what are the two main areas of timber that we should look for? So we, it's all about overtones and harmonics, fundamentals, harmonics. So these fundamentals and harmonics allow us as listeners to cue and get the tonal differences of things. Musical instruments, voices, animal sounds, warning signs, all of this is in the overtones in harmonics. That's why I constantly preach in our rooms that you have to get the middle frequencies right. And that what you're doing and what most people do is that they just smother those mid-range frequencies. They smother the overtones in the harmonics. And with our digital formats, they're all in there. But if we overabsorb, if we use the wrong diffusion sequence, if our room is too small and our speakers are too big, we lose this delicate nuance of timber, okay? So it's an intensity of sound, it's an impact. The ear is not linear, okay? So we may have a linear relationship in our room, but our ear may not be able to grab a hold of that, especially the older we get. It'll produce new overtones or alter existing ones. So all of this has to be taken into consideration. 
That's why I always say to people, there's no right or wrong when it comes to your music. There's no good, better, best. Best is what's best for you. How do we define what's best for you? The emotional impact that you receive from your system. That's the key determinant, not the cost of the speaker, not the look of the amplifier, not the finish of the turntable, but the emotional connection that you're supposed to receive from your equipment in your room. And isn't the goal of all equipment to disappear? Isn't it really about the music? All right. So timber and summary is the number of partials, the distribution, the intensity, the inharmonics, the harmonics, and our room treatment must recognize that, okay? Resolution is critical. Harmonic structure is critical. Rates and levels of absorption are critical. The frequency response of diffusion that you use is critical. The distance from the diffuser is critical. All of these variables must be taken into consideration. So I hope this definition of timber helps. Go back to your listening room now and see if you can find it. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. Our room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book a appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will I'll actually answer your questions and, and comments, so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.